Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at the Delinquent Road Hazard Squad. Boost, Wingo, DJ, and Snotrod. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So. <clears throat> The Delinquent Road Hazards are a team of four tuner cars that like to cause havoc and rule the roads. Boost, a 1999, a 1999 Nissan Silvia S15 who happens to, happens to be the gang's leader. Wingo, a 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse who happens to have a huge spoiler hence his hence his name huge wing I should say hence his name Wingo Snotrod a 1970 Dodge Challenger who who is known for for his sneezing hence his name Snotrod and DJ a 2004 Scion XB who is equipped with speakers and a and stereo and is known for who is known for playing loud music hence his name DJ During their appearance in the first Cars film they were seen driving along the interstate and they caught up with Mac who was Tr having trouble trying to stay awake on the way to California so they decided to play chickens with him and put him to sleep and toss him back and forth across the interstate lane causing Lightning McQueen to slip out of the trailer and during the epilogue they were seen in speeding on Route 66 and Sheriff had to chase him down and lock them up in the impound and they were even sentenced to repave a portion of Radiator Springs' main road that didn't need repaved with Bessie having and they got tar all over them. And in 2006 they came across Lightning McQueen who was driving along on the road and they told him that the road was close to him. So Lightning challenged the four tuners to a race, and which they accepted it. And they were even hired by Chick Hicks to rob Mac. Rob Mac. Eventually, they were caught by Lightning and Sheriff in order to get Lightning's gear back and they confessed that the whole thing was Chick's idea. And they were even seen in the Cars Tune episode Mater's Tall Tales when they were as usual speeding along Radiator Springs' main road and Sheriff had to chase them down again. And and in the car storybook collection content, Deputy Mater, once again, they were speeding through Radiator Springs. And then Mater, huh, they were stopped and they were stopped by Mater dead straight. And Mater re reminded him about the rules of the town and the speed limits. So they decided to pitch in and help the rest of the townsfolk. And they were also seen in the Cars 2 video game as unlockable characters, even though they didn't appear in the actual film, and in the Cars Fast as Lightning app. And during their diecast releases, they had been released countless times as singles and multi-packs and two-packs. 
Now, before I get right, in, and now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So first, we're going to start off with Boost, the game's leader. So here we've got his grumpy facial expression, his headlights, and bright purple paint exterior, and black interior on the hood. And on both sides, we've got the chrome silver rims on the black wall tires with a light purple circular lining on each of them and the word boost in dark purple and the black on the fenders and the side view mirrors and the boost tanks and the black flat spoiler and on the back we've got the red tail lights and the exhaust pipes and the his license plate saying boost and underneath it says Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand Mattel and up next is Wingo. Here we've got his purple interior on the front, and his gray headlights in the grill, and his green exterior paintwork in the side view mirrors, and the and the gray rims on the black wall tires and the graffiti on both sides, and the large and his spoiler. And on the back, we've got the red tail lights and the exhaust pipe and the license plate saying Wingo. And underneath, we have Mattel, Disney slash Pixar, made in Thailand. Up next is Snot Rod. Here we've got his deep smirking expression, his engine exposed at the top of the hood, his orange paintwork, and his grill and the letters saying SR which are the initials of his name Snot Rod and on both sides we've got the gray rims on the black wall tires and with the red circular trimming on each of them and his exhaust pipes on the sides and his door and a black line line on the enamel and the word letter, word in orange saying Snot Rod and on the back we got the red tail lights and the black in between and the white letters saying SR surrounded by a white borderline circle and a license plate saying snot rod and under the undercarriage we have Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand Mattel and last but definitely not least is DJ so here we've got his smug expression his blue exterior paint job and the gray headlights and on the hood we've got the green stripes no tambos on the hood just the spoiler and the headlights and the side view mirrors I meant and on both sides we've got the chrome silver rims on the black wall tires and the green stripes and the bit of speakers on the enamel and the both sides of the spoiler and on the back we've got the the speaker the speakers and the subwoofers and the red the red tail lights and the exhaust pipes and on the undercarriage it says made in Thailand Mattel Disney slash Pixar and that is it so what do you guys think which delinquent road hazard tuner is your favorite? Is it Boost, Wingo, Snot Rod, or DJ? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below, as well as leaving a vote in the community tab. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so... Please stay tuned. Goodbye now.